She's a red-hot centerfold beauty who's now burning up daytime TV. And are, are you freezing? Because I'm not bad. I think uh, my, my I just adrenaline to ask is going, and it's it's keeping me a little warm. I just want to ask you oh, something about my arm around you. Oh, warm now. Kelly is quickly creating her very own niche in nastiness. Some people either either they love me or they hate me. Kelly was raised in a rough part of Philadelphia. The streets helped define her. So I was an inner city school girl, and um, and you know my I'm one of five girls, and I think my parents instilled you know self defense as our our first class in life. Wow. So unfortunately, I was I was in a lot of you know little fist fights and stuff growing up, but. Soon enough, my parents moved us girls up to the Poconos and got us out of the city. But being the middle of five, even life in the Poconos would have its challenges, like the ongoing battle of the closet. I used to chain my clothes together. Like, I, so no one would steal oh, my clothes. Yeah. Oh, I would wow. chain my underwear together so my sisters yeah. would not steal my underwear. I, literally, at a padlock. And I stole half of it anyway, so it was like... <laughs> Kelly received her big break years before hitting the soap scene. The young girl with big dreams sent some photos to Playboy. The magazine was impressed. Kelly became a playmate. And in 1997, she was named Miss April. Kelly tasted fame and wanted more. I personally thrive off of working and I thrive off of being busy. Some people work to live and some people live to work. I, I just think I'm one of those people who live, live to work. Kelly began to audition for acting work. She quickly landed the role of Livy on ABC's Port Charles, beating out 1,500 other actresses for the part. Livy is a nutcase, and it's fun to be nutty and not have to realistically deal with it with your friends and family, you know, in your real life. Kelly checked into General Hospital in October 2003 as the spunky seductress Samantha McCall. I feel extremely fortunate to have had the options come in that I had in. And, yeah. But General Hospital is the mother of all soaps. Kelly says the two parts are similar in some ways, but Sam is definitely more gritty. Sam is white trash, basically, and, and Livy was sophisticated white trash. Her portrayal of both vixens was so powerful, she had to remind fans it's only TV. I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing what they're writing. So a lot of times I got to go, hey, that's that. that it's really not me. I'm really okay. I, I don't I don't want to kill my mother. Um, I'm sane. Kelly's busy soaking up the spotlight every chance she gets. She especially enjoys meeting her fans. We're on the set 15 hours out of a day or however many hours, five days a week. But it's not until we actually get to the fan events where we go, wow, people really dig the show and, and they're watching and there's a lot. That's when you kind of like take it in and go, okay, well, yeah, maybe maybe we are affecting people and, and getting into people's lives and we are in their home every day. And no one could be happier for Kelly's success than her tight-knit family. My whole family is extremely proud that I'm on the show. They're, they're proud that I am fulfilling my dreams. Now Kelly's biggest challenge is keeping her juicy storyline secret from her mom and four sisters. They call wanting to know who was at the door. Who just shot that gun? What's going on? They want to know, like, what's going And I, I try so hard not to say anything, but I do always tell my mom what's coming up. <laughs> Kelly's family ties remain strong, and so do the memories of her rough-and-tumble upbringing. Just listen to what she did to co-star Ingo Rademacher. We get to our scene, and I got to deck him one. I'm, like, sta like, I'm straddling on top, and I got to punch him because he goes in for a kiss. And sure enough... I contacted and I punched him in the face and I gave him a shiner. Kelly's definitely as tough as her character. What's the trick to playing someone so nasty? Kelly says you gotta find something to like. Sam is a self-reliant, independent character who doesn't need Amanda to find her. And while this five foot three beauty would like to believe she shares that quality as well, Kelly says no way. I put on the act more than I think that I actually am because, you know, I need my family more than anything and I can't go a day without talking to my mother 40 times and I strive to be like that. I strive to be able to make it on my own and do it on my own, but I do have a huge support system. But make no mistake, Kelly Monaco is a woman in charge, like when Livy underwent a makeover. Transformed from super heat yeah. to yeah. super heat. <laughs> 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 
Are we gonna take it from both sides and do it? Or we can we, we can do that. One? We can do that. We can pull it from underneath. Focused, talented, and earning respect. Kelly Monaco has found her prescription for happiness on General Hospital. I am fulfilling my dreams and, and living the life that I've always wanted to live. Soapography. Two stars, two stories. From sexy model to Emmy-nominated actress, Kelly Monaco is more than just a pretty face. And Peter Reckle broke all the rules and refused to live with fear. His courage led to an extremely successful career and a tremendously rewarding life at home. For more information on Kelly Monaco and Peter Reckle, log on to SoapNet.com.